welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. I'm a graphic designer. I love to show interior design, home aspects, and everything in between. Thanks so much for being here. Today we're going to be jumping right into an estate sale. This is kind of an impromptu video for me, but I've been wanting to film one of these. I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I live in an area where there are a lot of really old, beautiful, giant homes. I don't live in one myself, but I am surrounded by them, and I love estate sales shopping. I have found so many of my favorite pieces throughout my home from estate sales and they are just so fun to find those unique pieces that have character to them that can be charming and have a little bit of a story and it's so fun to see these homes as well when you do the tour. This morning I saw that there was an estate sale that I was walking by in my neighborhood and I'm finally able to get to it. It is towards the end of the first day so it may be a little picked over but I'm still having some hopes that there are going to be some good gems in there because it is still a weekday for it to have for shopping. I'm going to bring you along. We're going to stop in and see what we can find. Falling to pieces in my room Are you coming over? That's cool I could use a little something to do We could go outside, take a little ride if you want to That's cool I did what I was supposed to There's nothing left for me to do So now I'm walking out I'm back from the state sale. There were a lot of goodies in there. There are actually so many cute chairs, but I have a problem with buying too many chairs. So I did not get any of that, but I did make a purchase. I bought two prints. I think they're super pretty. That's the first one. Here's the second. On the back, it actually has the artist. So it's by S. Finkenberg, a watercolorist animal and human portraits and it has her telephone number on it and it's a super cute stamp it's so cute and I looked it up online and she seems to be pretty well known there was a website about her and I was finding other pieces of her work auctioned off it says that these are litho litho prints I should know how to say that because I took printmaking classes in college but I think it's just ink and paper is what these are created off of and 
They're super, super pretty. I don't know if they're one of one or what. It does have her signature on one, but it doesn't say what they're out of, like art pieces normally do. I think they're so pretty. It would be so pretty framed or even just sitting on a shelf. So I will either keep these. My mom also asked for me to look for some art pieces, so we'll see if she would rather have these. But it looks like the first one is some sort of station. They both have strong holdings of Europe. So I'm gonna do some more research on this artist and see where exactly they are. This one actually looks like it could be New York or Chicago possibly. I mean, it looks like Notre Dame in Paris, but there's a skyscraper next to it. So I don't believe it is, but it, it looks like it's modeled after that almost some beautiful cathedral it definitely is so i would say that was successful it was two dollars for these two and one of the pieces i clicked on online was already going for a hundred dollars so it's exciting i think that was a very successful first estate sale shopping trip you want me to say something i come up It's a new day now. I thought I would share what I found at that estate sale number two though. It was a super cute house, but it was a Saturday morning that I went there. So it was very busy, very packed. Estate sales are always the busiest, of course, on the weekend days. And when they open, they can just be kind of crazy. So I was definitely feeling the packedness in the room and just it was a bit overwhelming to look around, but it was still really great. Overall, the individual's home had a ton of fabrics when I walked in the door. And I don't do a ton of reupholstery stuff. I would love to do some things. There's been some projects that I've worked on, like reupholstering ottomans, or I would love to maybe do a pillowcase one day, things like that. And I thought the assortment that they had in this home were a great reference to just have and use in the future have on hand so I got this pattern I love the vintage style of it and I love the color combination too it's very subtle and honestly the back is also really pretty so it could be reversible if I were to do something like a pillowcase with it for a small square pillow of course and I also got another version of it in another color so it looks almost like it's a some sort of old historic meadow field home, that kind of vibe. If I don't have enough to do pillowcases with in the future, I could always just do decorations for cloths. Or I've even seen other creators take something like this and frame it, and then it's just a texturized piece to have in a frame. Could also be cute if I put it on top of a canvas and stapled it down. I don't know there's a lot of opportunities with this and when you find stuff like this at estate sales it's so cheap compared to buying fabric rolled up from Joann's or something like that. I got one more pattern print. Again it's going with that very vintage style. This one feels a bit more Parisian or European with it. and. I really love it again. The texture is a bit lighter, so I think this one would be easier to use as a fabric piece for reupholstering something, maybe the top of a chair. I don't know, we'll see. I am so excited to have those to use in the future and just have these custom pieces on hand. The last thing I got was an art piece. I love buying art pieces from estate sales and that's honestly what I'm looking for when I'm going into these homes is any unique art opportunity that I can have and start collecting those pieces is really great. It's just exciting to be able to start collecting things that are beyond Target or Home Goods 
stuff like that to have just some unique pieces in my home. So I picked up this one. It's just a simple print. It looks like a sketch of a couple cottages. I thought it was cute. Honestly, this is probably something that I could have got printed online or honestly gotten out of a book because it almost looks like it's torn out of a book and then framed. But it's really nice when you can buy pieces already framed, ready to go. I thought the framing was a cute vintage-esque look with the gold trim on it as well. The back is a little rough. But honestly, for the price, it can't be bad. I think for all four of these items, I paid, honestly, like $3. I think I only had $3 with me, and I think the lady was like, that's fine, just take it. And so that's one really great thing about estate sales is that they can work with you sometimes. And since this was day two of the sale, I think they technically also had it 50% off, which adds to the craziness of it, but also adds to some great deals. So it was fun to be able to get good discount on this. I also have the two prints for my first sale here. I'm just still so obsessed with these and I'm excited to put these up. I think they will need to be framed eventually. So that's something I will have to do and see how we can get that custom framed. But besides that, I had so much fun going to these two estate sales. I'm hoping I can find more popped up around my neighborhood here soon. But as the summer goes on, the sales will continue to continue on, but they will also start to dive down as the weather gets cooler and things like that. So I'm hoping that I can share more and vlog soon. If you wanna see any other estate sale pieces that I've collected in my home, I did just post an apartment tour video a couple weeks ago, so I'd recommend checking that out. That has a lot of that content of the home pieces, the unique art pieces we have from the estate sales and talking about them. I also think I probably will make a video here soon sharing a little bit more about estate sales and sharing about the favorite pieces I have from them. So stay tuned for that. But thank you so much for watching this video, sticking with me to the end. I so appreciate it. I love sharing home content videos and interior design aspects. So if you want to see anything else revolved around that, more DIY projects, anything like that, please comment it down below. I would love to have your recs. And as always, if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section or message me over on Instagram. But thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you so soon. And when it happens